This is a story about injustice and the insidious way in which evil triumphs. I am Charles Petrie. I have tried for so long and in so many different ways to seek justice for some of the victims of the Rwandan genocide. These victims include three of my UN colleagues. But 25 years after the massacre, I have failed. The chief suspect has not faced trial, and nobody has been convicted of their murders. I refuse to give up. Spike, Zafania, and I are working together to tell the story in a different way. My faith in humanity and in the possibility for a better world was shattered. I couldn't accept that the United Nations, an institution charged with protecting the integrity of the Genocide Convention, had failed even its own staff. How could an institution created to serve a higher ideal be effective if it did not uphold, not defend its basic values? It just can't. You may well wonder why I feel compelled to reiterate the details of a period of history so appalling, of a project in which I have so conspicuously failed. I would answer by sharing the advice given to me by Father Vieko Kurek in June 1994, when it seemed as if the killings in Rwanda would never stop. I was exhausted. Those days were so unnaturally long. Impressed by the dogged determination of Father Vieko, I asked what kept him going. This is what he said. If you believe in doing something, in something that you hold to be profoundly true, and yet you feel you are failing in your purpose, don't give up. You never know. You could be the person who holds the torch in the middle of darkness that will guide somebody else to achieve what you wanted to accomplish. What we ask of you now is for you to join us in this final attempt to bring a just end to this story. Please support us to not only produce the mixed medium book, but also to bring about justice for some of the victims of those crimes. Thank you.